Placing gas trap. Taking fire. Incoming rifle. Down to search. It's us now. I hope I can count on you. We made it. Delivering track. We made it. This has been a test of our emergency preparedness. There is no fire, it was only a simulation. Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be the season seven caustic guide. The video I made last season about caustic ended up doing really well. And I got a lot of support from you guys from that video. So thank you all for watching that. And dropping a sub and a like on the video. I really do appreciate it. I had posted a comment under that video asking if people would like to see a season seven updated version because obviously caustic was changed in season seven and some people were interested in this video. So I decided to make it for you guys. If anybody's new here and isn't already subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my next upload. And if you like the video, slap a like on it, please. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. I'm not going to try to waste anybody's time here. I don't think caustic is as good this season. And I'm going to tell you why. Caustic is not good on Olympus, but I do think he's still pretty viable on World's Edge. And here are the reasons. Olympus is pretty wide open in a lot of spots on the map. There's also a lot of high and low ground and not a lot of cover. That never bodes well for Caustic. Another thing is the, the architecture of the buildings like this one. They are nearly impossible to hold as a Caustic. There's open glass doors that, you know, take up half the size of the room that people can access the building from. There's only one door on most of these buildings. You'll see these apartment buildings all over throughout the map, and it's nearly impossible for a Caustic or even a Watson to hold. There's way too much exposure, and if you're trying to 1v2 or 1v3 a fight, it's not going to go well. The other thing is that even if you have some teammates in here, it's not a good building to be bunkered up in with because like I said, there's just too much exposure. And then there's these circle buildings here that just have also too much exposure. Even if you trap both of the doors, there are windows that just give you line of sight completely on you and, and your traps. So it, it just, it's totally useless to be trying to hold them. And then there's some buildings that are even worse where they have a wide open window like in Rift and um in some other areas so yeah it's just a lot of the architecture doesn't favor caustic and his play style now as far as the update to the gas well yes the gas does more damage now but i'm not convinced that it's as effective so enemies can now see through your gas and that may seem like a subtle change to some people but it's actually a really big deal seven seasons later they try to make a big change on caustic and i don't think it makes him as good and I'll tell you the reason being is it wasn't always the damage that really, you know, gave you the window of opportunity to kill your enemies when you threw your gas down or your, your, your Nox gas ultimate. For me, it was stunning the enemy and giving yourself like a jump on them to start shooting them first and making it hard for them to shoot back if they came into your territory. Now, if they were smart enough to not walk into your territory, then it didn't make killing a caustic as hard. But I've noticed I've died a lot more with Caustic this season. Whether it's on Olympus or World's Edge. I, I can still be successful with Caustic. And I think Caustic takes more calculation than he ever has before. I used to think Caustic was a really good solo player. And I'm just not convinced he is as good as a solo anymore. I feel like you need teammates to be executing your pushes together. And using your gas in a more calculated way. I guess is the best way to put it. He still can be a very strong legend and you just have to know his strengths and weaknesses. Having him caught out in the open is terrible for him and it's nearly impossible to completely avoid that on Olympus. World's Edge though, I'm familiar with the map and ways to play Caustic and hold certain areas with him. So I do think that is also like a bonus, but the, the architecture definitely favors Caustic more. Some ways that I think you guys should try to take on playing Caustic, like that you should adapt to is focus more on if you're going to use your ultimate or your traps you you have like a small window of opportunity smaller than before to get the jump on your enemy and shoot them sure if they're low 
the gas is going to do more damage and potentially could knock. If they want to hang around in the gas, well, that's on them and they, and they may end up getting knocked, but they still have to be in it for a few seconds, if not more, for, that, for it to really knock them. I mean, so it's it's not really likely that they're going to be doing that unless they're just really trying to ego challenge you or unless they're already low on health that's the only way they're going to get knocked from the gas but now it gives them it gives the enemies more confidence to fight in it because they can see through it they are still slowed and like stunned but they can see through it so it makes them feel like they can they can win the fight easier and they can still shoot you pretty easily so i've noticed like i said i'm dying a lot more in times where i didn't feel like i used to die now, don't get me wrong, Caustic can still be in the meta, but I just feel like for on Olympus, he's just not that good. And so my world, the games that I've been playing have mostly been in the ranked lobbies and you just don't see a lot of Caustics. I'll talk about that more in a second, but this is some of the tactics that I think you guys should start to use if you don't already. I'm going for the res here. I shot the trap preemptively. The lifeline's challenging me. I think it gave her some confidence because enemies might have some more confidence now because they feel like they can see in the gas. But still, that's the, the window of opportunity. You want to get on your opponent and hit your shots, obviously, during that time. But that should give you the upper hand. And that right there is when Caustic is at its best so like i was saying i'm playing a lot in the ranked lobbies and i tried caustic out at the start when i first got into you know the diamond master predator lobbies and i wanted to see how he felt on this map and so right here you see i got beamed but i'm gonna throw my ultimate down because i did get some shots off on them as well and that's an opportunity right there where my teammates need to drop on them because that team is in my gas and that is the window of opportunity it's pretty quick but you need to execute on that and if you don't then caustic without his gas Right there against a good team, he can be rendered useless essentially. So you see here, I'm challenging the Gibby, but I do have to drop because Gibby has his bubble and I don't have much cover. This was actually against a really good team. We barely did win the fight, but we did. It was against uh, Complexity Lou, Rogue, and Dropped. And so right here, we had the Bloodhound weak. My teammate kills them. And then so it's a two on one against Dropped. And then so me and my teammate are just going to drop on him. And we are going to be able to win this fight. But that is the execution that I was talking about. Similar to Crypto. Where you need to be... Your teammates need to be on the same page as you. And they need to execute quickly and effectively. And anytime you're in these lobbies. Every decision is going to be amplified. So it's with all legends really. But Caustic does take a lot of coordination. And... You also want to make sure your teammates are on the same page as you and understanding the windows of opportunities that you have as caustic and the things to do. So here is another example where I knew we were about to fight here. I place a couple traps and both of them get shot out instantly. So what I would have liked to have had happen was one of my teammates shoot the traps. That way we create a little bit of a window for the enemies hopefully to take some damage and then we could maybe push up on them. Now all my traps are on a cooldown, none of them got set off, and now it's all just gun skill here. This is also a really good team. So you'll see here we ended up winning this fight, but also just barely. And this was a decent area for Caustic to fight in. I mean, if we got third party from behind, it wouldn't have been favorable to us, but close quarter combat is what you want to focus on when you're playing with Caustic. Indoors, preferably. You can still easily get away with playing Caustic in pubs and in the lower ranked lobbies, but the part of the reason why Caustic isn't seen as much in the higher lobbies is because he's just not in the meta for them. And so when there's not a lot of Caustics, you'll see even less of them. And when there are more people playing Caustic, then you'll see more of him because he is the counter to another Caustic. So right now, I mean, I've seen a couple Caustics in the lobbies, but barely any. And I think a lot of people understand that he's just not as good on Olympus. Now, we'll see what happens in World's Edge. I think he could be a more played legend um, on the second rank split, but we will see. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you later. Peace.